All right, people. Welcome back. More DM to commentary. So we are joined by Stanzi. Yes, and we totally have not recorded an episode before, have we? This is brand new. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. Is this man playing fucking Klee Monarchs? Yes, he is. Klee Monarchs, oh. people. God damn. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess you're going to see if your idea works. You had this idea fucking ages back. I, mean, I guess you're have... going to see if this works. I mean, I mean they, they have, have the stats, so why not? But Clean Monarchs, all right. Uh, anyway, we have Zeka Wajio at 10.14, and XD Imperial Alliance at only 577. But uh, let's see. I mean, you saw the no action, you're like, Monarchs. You saw him play the powerful Pandiety, still Monarchs. Piss the Prime, still Monarchs. And all of a sudden, Summoners are? Like, say, what? <laughs> God damn. So, okay. I mean, that's what you want to do. More power to you. See a pendulum summon of two, and then I'm assuming tribute those two for stealth, return the scout, some play the scout Might again. Might tribute it for like, oh, monarch is it? Nope, stealth. Oh, right. stealth I was about to say, the scout. A... Play the scout. Activate the scout, search for sacrifice, equip to the self, and then draw two with the monolith during the end phase? Like, power. But no. Uh, just the same old meta, bandless ice, and the more and more I sit there and look at the bandless, the more I hate it. That's why exactly why when I saw that thing the first time I was like, yeah, that's a five. And then when I heard you and Randy be like, it's a seven. I'm like, what? What? Like Daniel, no. Bad. I'll hit you with this newspaper. Stop it. Just I wish they would have done more to other competitive S decks. Oh, it's Cosmos. Like, like performance holes. And yeah, same with Cosmos. Oh, we hit Italy by one card. Wow. All right, so next list, Itali definitely down to one. Definitely. And, uh... uh I don't know. Damn. Damn. Damn, Zekka. Who fucking quit? Uh, Zekka. Oh, God. He did his fucking, uh... Cosmotown put three back, drew three, and I guess still during the shit. Super shit. And then he's like, oh, fuck it, I lost. You're still playing that fucking shitty-ass dogfighter. I don't play that card. No, the level six one. I don't play it. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't play Cosmos, but even I know that's not one you play. I don't. I know. Care. Saw Troopers is like iffy because some people play it, some people don't. But I wouldn't know. I mean, it's better now since Allure is up to two. If it's an Allure target, but still mm. no, because you're supposed to be bringing out your pilots out of the grave with it. But why the fuck are my pilots in the grave? Like, I'm sorry, whenever I play Tin Can, I don't think... Unless I was in a de desperate situation, I would never put a pilot in the grave. It would mm -hmm. always be a ship. So, alright. Some of the powerful idea. Hit, get hit with that solemn warning. I don't know how he got that one warning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, totally not as if a number generator exists. Yeah, but definitely emergency teleport down to one, no... What else should they do to Cosmos? A lot of people say Dark Destroyer, but I'm not sure about that. I would say Dark Destroyer just because it's stupid going, oh, fucking, either multiple Dark Destroyers or Dark Destroyer, and then fucking someone at Dark Destroyer from the graveyard would call the Haunted Slash Oasis. Which, I think that's it. I think that's go to, like, what, two? Two or one. One? Wouldn't one kill the deck? I don't know. I don't know that much about Cosmos, but I do know that's their main bitch card, like, because it's such a fucking dick to get over. I don't think so. I think you'd maybe just lower the consistency of the opening place. There's nothing wrong with being powerful but inconsistent. So I'd say maybe like Tin Can to 2. Maybe Cosmo Town so it can't touch itself. Cosmo Town to 1? Maybe. You know, like, so so you can't go, like, pop the Cosmo Town. Okay, search another fucking Cosmo Town. Cosmo Town to 1. If you get rid of that one Cosmo Town, then the, door, then the deck's pretty much done. Maybe Cosmo Town to 2? Maybe. I think, like, like I said, I don't think I think the way to hit Cosmos is just to hit their consistency. I don't know too much about the deck, but I do know that they're a very annoying, consistent deck. Well, good job clicking that battle phase button. Unless, unless, unless you're Ryan, apparently. Yeah, yeah. So definitely, uh, definitely, uh, emergency teleport to one. Yeah. Uh. Uh, Cosmo Town. I guess Cosmojo. Maybe Cosmojo. Yeah, Cosmo is not that bad. 
Some people only play that too. I'd definitely say maybe lower the consistency. I maybe say Tin Can to two, maybe Cosmo Town two, maybe Tin Can to one Cosmo Town. No, Tin Can to one would hurt way too much. Maybe Tin Can to two, Cosmo Town to like two as well. Mm. Maybe, yeah, just maybe lower the consistency. Because I mean, other than Dark Destroyer, I don't think they really have anything that's that big, do they? I mean, Dark Destroyer is good, but I don't think they have anything else that's really that big. They have Dark Destroyer and... It's, all, it, it's uh, all about... It, yeah, it's those two. Dark Destroyer is powerful, but Dark Destroyer is only as powerful as the, the pilots that can summon him. Yeah, so, so when, it can go Dark Destroyer, when it can go Dark Destroyer, then fucking summon Slip and pop something as well. Like, that's when it's like... Mm. Okay, on standby phase. What are you doing on standby phase? Something. Cosmojo, yep. Okay. Okay. So pop your slip, banish the Pandeity. Uh, I mean Pandeity. The Pantheism, same thing. What's yeah. G, T, C, G, N, M. Uh, so, yeah. Monarchs, I mean, Monarchs, just... Pantheism and then something else. Probably the field spell. I don't think Domain's that bad. I, it's, it's a derogatory card. It's like fucking searchable vanities. Pretty much, because you usually are going to have that. Either that or maybe Idea or something like that. I think the Idea will be heard. I'm thinking Monarch Stormforth. Because mm -hmm. Stormfor Stormforth is a searchable, non-targeting, tributure monster, get rid of, get around anything card. Yeah, but fucking bloody the field spell is a bloody card that not only locks your opponent out the fucking extra deck, but if you summon something else, like if you flip up, like, say, a fucking... A skill drain, or you fucking just drop a bloody, um, what is he? What's that fucking tribute monster that's got marked stats? I forget him. Majesty's Fiend, right? Yeah, Majesty's Fiend. If you just drop that and fucking have a field spell, you know, then Jesus Christ. If your opponent better have a fucking MSD or Twin Twisters. There's no effect and no summon from the extra deck equal you take the fattest of dicks in the mouth. Mm, OCG hit it down to one. I said, I definitely know Pan... Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I can so see it. Or... You know, I just don't see how you can be like, oh, well, we've got Vanities that locks everyone out, but we can have you Monarch players, you can run a Vanities, and you can run your Field Spell, which is super, super searchable, and it's essentially, as long as you've got a Tribute Summon Monster, which your Monarch, you probably will, have it's like the same fucking thing, pretty much. Like, good job. That's power, being able to play Tenacity. I can't even play Tenacity in Earthbound or BES, so. <laughs> it's because Cleese had the stats. They always did. It was always planned this way, yes. <laughs> I know I'm speaking bad about Burning Abyss, but I think Dante should go to one. Yeah. Dante's getting a little bit ridiculous. He's he's starting to be less of, oh, yeah, but you'll, hit, you'll kill BAs to the point where he's just like, oh, never mind, he's just a generic rank 3 milling card. And yeah. that's where he's starting to get broken. But so now he's it's like 2 he's or 3 Dante. He's essentially fucking Minerva, but the difference between Minerva and Dante is Minerva's super hard to get hold of. Dante is not that difficult. It's a bit pricey, but it's not difficult to get fucking hold of. He's Damn. got the money. Damn. And Cosmos ended up losing to the power of the Pendulum Summon Monarch. <laughs> GG. Uh, the clean monarch. See, see, why couldn't you guys vote for that for fucking daily duels? No, you get, you get, you get fucking Zushin, you get BS, you get fucking ninjas, and you get what's what's the other one? Nordics. GG. Fuck you. <sighs> we'll you get, get one. You, you get one good deck a week. You're not allowed to have fun. Fuck you. Get another duel. Bear back. Yep, another monarch. Hey, bro, I heard you like monarchs. So let's monarch. Ooh, getting ten fucking thousand life points. Not a thousand, ten fucking thousand. <laughs> we have Damn. Emperor 16 here at 534, and we have the Zuchi Hongori at 1338. Zuchi Hongori, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm a... No, no, I can't assume anything. Okay. I said, I don't, personally, I don't think that it, Phantom oh, Knights are that powerful. PK Fire again. 
PK fire is kind of slow, not that bad, and you'll get your plays eventually. But then when you splash in Dante, and you can bust out two or three Dantes in one turn who will be milling multiple shits, that's when it's a problem. I thought you milled cards, not shit, so well. Yeah, that's hey, a that's problem. You don't want to be milling shit. I mean, come on. You no. Know? So then you go ahead and summon that back, special summon another BA, go into another Dante, more mill, more mill, more mill. Like, milling six cards in one fucking turn? Like, holy fuck. And, and that's what I think, that you always have access to it, because it's in the extra deck. It's not like you're playing a Light Sworn engine. Like, you always have extra deck access to that Dante. Therefore, you're always going to be milling these mo these cards that you need for PK Fire and Burning Bits. It's, it's just a little bit too much. So, Dante, you should probably go, go down to one, like in the OCG. Yeah. Because I think in OCG, is PK Fire even like a meta deck? I think it's the third best deck still. Okay, no. And they put Dante down to one, but they also still have Triple Sir and Triple Grass. Yeah. They only hit Skarm down to one, so we need to collectively come together as a group, TCG and OCG, and kill this deck because this deck has literally been tier one for a year and a half. Yeah. Oh, without PK stuff. Burning the best. I mean, even without PK stuff, the deck is still really good. Oh, yeah, I know. You it's still have Triple good, Dante, yeah. you know, two Sirs, one Graft, all the Beatrices. You can go into the fucking the Synchro to spin shit away. We don't see Virgil as much anymore, but... No, I know, but have... yeah, you can still go anywhere. Yeah, okay. I mean, any deck that has an option to spin fucking cards away, and then it discards, which means it's obviously going to get more fucking plus, so that's just good. No, I don't even care if we have to put Skarm to one, Sir to one, Graf to one, Dante to one. I don't care. Just fucking get rid of this shit. Like, Don Burning Abyss have literally they're the only deck to competitively survive the Duelist Alliance era, and they're still tier one. Like that's crazy. Guess they were the best all along. You got Necros in there, like, hey, what about us? You got fucking Shadals, Queens, everything. You got fucking, you got poor fucking bloody uh, Ritual Beast being like, we weren't even meta for long. We were meta for like a day. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> fucking Teller Knights are like, hey, we got hit the least, and we're still not even up there, like, burning at this time. They got hit harder than us. Mm hmm. So. Thank fucking Christ. I mean, even if fucking Teller Knights didn't fucking hit Rhoda down to one, Rhoda would still have to go down to one. Especially yeah, nowadays. Because yeah. you already know what deck is fucking uh, tier one and like that. Like, Rhoda oh. would have to go down to one. Yeah. I can give you two examples of this current meta and the reason why Rhoda would still have to go down to one despite Teller Knights. Alright, cool. Phantom Knights are warriors? Oh, shit, they are. I thought they were fiends, yeah. Idea is a warrior. Yeah, idea, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> so that, that in itself is just enough for Ted to be like, absolutely no. Rhoda has to be at one. Which is fine. I'm fine with that. But we need to do other things, too. Like, the list, it didn't do enough. And we and what are we going to wait for? What, January? I mean, January. July? Well, January. Holy January. shit, if we didn't no get a fucking Kanami. list. No, no Konami. No, fucking Konami, yeah. It'd be like, January, next list. Like, you <laughs> motherfuckers. No. I hate you. What are we waiting until, like, July? Maybe? No. When, when's Nationals? I don't know when Nationals is at. I don't know. I don't know when Nationals is. I don't keep up with con with um competitive shit like that in real life but you know sometime around then mm. but look at this shit you go hella f hella fucking plus yep because why not like what are they thinking like play a, a draw card a fucking alert of darkness whatever that searches you fucking crazy and you can play the draw card multiple times like you know what Despite what Konami did, I, I personally think that Alert probably needs to go back down to one. Just Why? Be because every single deck in the competitive scene is playing it. Yeah, but that's just a fad for now. That will that will fizzle out, I reckon. Yeah, but that's the problem. It's still the fad. Same thing with Rota. If there was no fucking strong warrior decks, well, then could Rota be up? Yeah, but because there are strong warrior decks, we have to put it down. It's just, just too narrow for the card. Cosmos are playing it. PK Fire plays it. Art Monarchs play it. Everybody plays it right now. I don't know. I don't like hitting 
hitting cards when they you know, just become fads, you know what I mean? And it's like, if it becomes like something that actually stays, then yeah, sure, hit that shit. But if it's like a little flash in the pan fucking fad, then eh. What's a lure at? Like, isn't eh. a lure at three in the OCG? I think they put it up to three. Yeah, and what's it been doing now? I don't know. I don't pay attention to the OCG meta it's like been, that. It, well, it's clearly not been doing much, because you know how OCG are. As soon as something gets a little fucking out of control, they're like, nope, back down. I don't think it's been doing much, because exactly. I think the, I think the top decks, well, besides maybe PK Fire, because I think the top decks are PK Fire, Monarchs, I mean, PK Fire, Cleaves, and Blue Eyes. Hmm. But, you know, for Cleaves, they pretty much still have everything. They still have three skill drain, three lose one turn, uh, two scout, Three towers if they want to play it, so. Yep, they are a pretty good spot over yeah, there. Yeah, Lord Darkness is at three in the OCG. Yeah. Uh, well, we're just seeing the Monarch player do Monarch stuff. Enjoy. I'm so bored of this deck. I'm bored of it too. Like, I mean, I... PK Fire is overused as fuck, but at least they do different shit. Monarchs just do the same stuff all the fucking time, over and over and over and over and over. Yep. You know, it's like, I, Monarchs wouldn't be that fucking boring for me if they did different shit, but it's the same plays again and again and again and again and again. Like, at least with fucking PK Fire, at least... You know, like I said, they do different shit. You see them, they typically do the same roundabout plays, but their specific cards that they use or work with are different. Monarchs is just like, idea, summon Eddos, or can Trivium both offer Aether or AD, or the bloody other, the level 8 Dart one. Oh, well, do this. Pantheism, you know, oh, with the big 8 guys, we'll send a Pantheism, send a fucking original Monarch. Oh, Pantheism effect, banish yourself from grave, reveal fucking free, even my field spell or my bloody emperor. Oh, look, pit one. Oh, you pit one of the three that I showed you because I showed you three, the same fucking card. Okay, play this. Like, uh, I mean, that I sounded bored as fuck just fucking listing their plays. So, God knows how Monarch players managed to play that shit without falling into a coma. Yeah, you can't do that. Why, what's he done? He's trying to ghost over the Monarch, but he can't touch it. No. Because he can't chain it because it's yep. chain link one, ether, chain link two, freaking return. That's how they're getting around fucking Solemn Strife. Mm hmm. That powerful return. Little did you know that return was actually going to put in that, put in work. And we're going uh, on to game three, because, yep. Woo. It's meta. BRB, going to shoot myself in the head. Hang um, on. I don't blame you. Fight the barrel. Do it. Cock yes. that guy. Oh, we said we said cock, didn't we? <laughs> what else? My lady. <laughs> oh god, yes. And don't worry guys, wait, I have an announcement that I'll be announcing on uh, Daily Duels today. He's gay. Shh, don't tell everyone. That's why I'm always on your channel, because I love you so much, alright? <laughs> All homo. Bring that ass here, boy. Hello? <laughs> Hurry up inside, damn. <laughs> fucking, fucking hell, you visited Milk Teas. I'll show you a fucking cock tease in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, finally. Tease, that Milk Teas, that. <laughs> mm. So, uh, Mr. Emperor, I'm assuming you're going first. You're going to bust out the double Dante. Go ahead. Special summon Taka Tomborg. Oh, okay. Only Terra Guy. You're not playing Taka Tomborg? Taka Tomborg fucking, uh, fucking Terra Top is so fucking good. Yeah, that's such, that is so fucking great. Yep. yep. Detach. L3. L3. Get one back. Grab summon. Oh, uh, wow. Then special summon a burning beast. It's mostly if you have it in your hand. Go into another Dante. Mail more. Like, look at this. Uh, multiple Dantes. I know. So stupid. So stupid. Like, I get it. You want to some sell your goddamn Beatrice, but holy fuck. Like, how could you leave Burning Abyss untouched? Again, like Konami, I I can't stand TCG. <sighs> it's 
summon Sir or Skarm. I mean, you already opened up the tour guide because of number generator, so maybe, maybe Sir. There's so many things that need to be addressed in this upcoming list, and like I said, we're not getting what something till what July, August. So far, fucking far away. Rubric, really? That's interesting. Pitch, Skarm, turn into Beatrice. Okay. What happened to Rubric? Does it go away? Is there like a, some kind of refractory period between Dante and, and Beatrice where Rubric goes away or something? I'm kind of lost. Okay. What are you doing, Emperor? Like, I don't like the plays that you're doing. Like, I would have detached mill. You had the Skarm in your hand. I would have special summoned that Skarm and then whatever you summoned with uh, Graf and then went to another Dante. Like, that play was kind of anticlimactic. You should have totally milled some more. Whatever. You there? Hold on, people. Okay. I was, right. like, I was like, what the fuck? This man just disappeared on my ass. Yeah, it's not boring got lot. See you later. Twin <laughs> Twisters again. See? Look how powerful it is. Just get blown the fuck away. I mean, I wouldn't compare it to Lobo Chain, but I do understand Forever's argument with the enabling, especially yeah. in fucking PK Fire. Yeah, I know. But like I said, it's the same fucking argument. That, oh, well, it's you discard. Well, you, it's the same as Lava I mean, Chain. Well, okay, not, you can argue that for anything. It's not Twin Twister's fault. It really no, isn't. It's the cards that you discard's fault, not Twin Twister's. That's like saying, oh, well, fucking Dark World Dealings is broken because you can discard a card, get a fucking plus from it, and then you can draw a card on top of that plus that you got from the card you discard slash set your graveyard up with. Like, uh-huh. You're going to go ahead and use Beatrice Effect, Detach, Send Farfa, and Banish the token? I wouldn't know. be a terrible player. I, I'm, I'm just so bored I've lost the world to live at this point. It's Monarch. What do you expect? Everybody, I mean, it's literally go to Walmart and buy three structure decks. Lock them together. You've got a tier one deck. That's great, right? People like that. Omega like it. People like Omega. It's like, yeah, that makes Yu-Gi-Oh! more fun because it, there's more access to competitive decks. But then you flood yeah. the damn market with how easily accessible it is. Even, mm. though I, even though my regionals, there is way more of a different deck than there was Monarch, so... That's just, that's because the locals was flooded with that deck already. Yep, send Farf. That's the token. Gone. He can still do Monarch Stormforth and summon uh, Karaz, because I think he still has a Karaz, right? Yeah. Yep. Monarch Stormforth, tribute your shit. Karaz. Oh, Majesty's Chain. Yep. This is fun. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How does Farfa with work with Prime? Would it return it to the field, or uh, so someone I... does a normal monster? So it's not a token. This card is not yeah. treated as a trap. So I believe Prime comes back to the field. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's fucking monarchs. I mean, Cavs. Who cares? Really? Watch, watch someone comment. I care, you fuck. Like, okay, sorry. No one cares. No one cares. This deck is just so fucking stupid. I'm just so fucking mad. Oh, really? I thought it would, I thought it was a monster since it said this card is not treated as a trap, but I guess maybe when it's removed from the field it goes back to a trap card? I don't know. Okay. I thought it was it was not treated as a trap, but it's treated as an old monster. So when it got far from it, it was a monster and it would return as a monster, but alright. Whatever, if you say so, you're you're the monarch master, whatever the fuck that is. Monarch master. There's no such thing. Oh, I'm a master of the structure deck. Wow, you're a master of the structure deck. Such skill. Much love. Like, yes. 
I'll take being master of a deck like fucking Ghost Tricks over a master of a deck that anyone can just go out fucking buy free stretch decks and just be like, I'm competitive. Thank you. But that's just me. I like actual skill decks. Not buy free from Walmart. I just, I just like the effort of it. I have more respect for, for PK Fire in Cosmos than I have respect for Monarch. I have, I have like yeah. no respect for Monarch. What do you got to pick up? Like a Majesty's themed? I don't know. I'd say, don't that's you a... get like pretty much everything in the deck? Karaz, yeah, if you, you want to run it? Yeah, I think you do. You get what you get one of the new one of every one of the new cards. You get fucking Karaz. I think you get a Caius. I think you get. I don't think you get a Karaz. Em- All right. Well, you get a Caius, I'm pretty sure. You get Emperor. Get. um. You get like return uh-huh. and monarch stone quest? Yeah. Tenacity? Yeah, 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 you get like I think you get pretty much all the fucking stuff. So you just, like I, I think you even I think you even get a one for one. Ridiculous. I think you even get a fucking one for one in the in the structure deck as well. Let me look it up because I'm really bored, so I might as well fuck it. Oh never mind. Did oh. you quit? So oh. You couldn't do anything Yay. anyway. So just monarchs. Tired of seeing this deck and I'm gonna be seeing it for a lot longer. Because you're going to be playing part of it. At least I don't do the stupid plays of that. They do too much. Yeah, but still. You know, the tenacity, the, the vanity screen, the majesty screen, the... You know, at least I don't do all of that. But, I mean, I don't have a choice. I mean, they stuck me with fucking BES as even in a goddamn deck, so I gotta do something with it. <laughs> Like I said, I'm going to filter. I, th- I thought I didn't need to filter because I didn't think that people were going to vote for those decks. But now since I know that they're willing to vote for them trolley ass decks, I'm going to filter. So go ahead. Waste your fucking uh, deck suggestion on saying some trolley ass shit and see if it ends up on the fucking poll. Ghost strikes, let's go. No. Anyway, people, we're done. So you saw some Monarch beat down. Whether it be Splash with Cleaves or by themselves, doesn't matter. The Monarch engine is just way too strong. And it needs to be hit a lot like other things. And we're going to be waiting for a long, 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 long time. So yep. if you guys January. Go... January next list confirmed. So you guys want to go ahead and quit the freaking format and quit Yu-Gi-Oh for now? I don't blame you. Anyway, thank you, Stonzy, for joining me. No worries. Again. <laughs> again, again, yes, I know. And hopefully this one fucking records my voice. Otherwise, I think you're going to flip tables. Yep. Thanks for watching. We had, a, we had a good talk as well about bloody performer pulls as well, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, we had a good talk and, about and Monarchs. That, and that Northern ruling and shit like that, and then all that, nope, gone. Oh so, well. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next week with some more DM commentary.